What's going on guys? Just out here in the garage this morning I was going through a few of my torch tips cleaning up my oxyacetylene kit and it's raining out this morning. I got a couple errands to run but while I was fiddling around with this stuff I figured I'd make a quick video. I had some comments on a previous video in regards to fixing holes in whether it's a coil, whether it's just copper piping. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step down bit and I'm going to make a pretty massive hole in this section of pipe right here and I'm going to see if I can seal it up with just 15% silfos. I'm not going to be running any nitrogen. I'm not going to be um, trying to clean anything up. I initially sanded this um, from another video that I posted. Actually, I'm not sure if I posted the video, um, but just sealing up the little bypass port. So I'm just going to take a simple step down bit. I'm going to make a pretty massive hole in this copper pipe and see if I can seal it up. Again, no nitrogen, no nothing. Um, not using best practices just to see if I can get it sealed up. So let's make the hole and see what happens. See that's a that's a pretty large hole. It's probably about half inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the torch and we'll fire it up and see if we can get this thing sealed up. All right, so we got our torch ready. As you can see, I didn't clean anything up. There's still burrs on there, all that good stuff. Didn't resand anything. And I'm just going to be using a oxyacetylene torch with a number two tip. And again, this is not best practices. I wouldn't do this in the field. This is just sort of a tabletop practice, demonstration, whatever you'd like to call it. But we're going to see if we can seal this thing up and see how it goes. All right, guys, here's the braze joint cleaned up as best I could with just a wire brush. Again, far from the prettiest thing you're ever going to see. No nitrogen, no real preparation, just down and dirty, filling a massive hole in a copper pipe. So what I've done now is I went ahead and cut it off, cut this braze joint off, and we're going to use some snips and cut it open and we'll take a look and see what the inside of this pipe looks like and see how strong this braze joint is. All right, so here's that piece of pipe. I just took an old pair of 10 snips and split it in half. Try to get you guys a good view of it. And I did this braze joint actually in the previous section of the video yesterday. So there's a tiny bit of rust starting to develop and that's just because it's in my garage. It's moisture laden there was no nitrogen purged through this while I did the repair but we'll take a look at the other side as well you can see a little bit of a little bit of rust a little bit of discoloration which again is just from being open to moisture but hopefully you can get a good idea of how well that bond is that's not going anywhere it's probably just as strong if not stronger than the than the original copper so and again, this was about a half inch hole. So just wanted to cut it open just so you guys can see the inside, see how well it did bond. And again, there was very little preparation other than a little bit of sanding. There was no nitrogen or anything. So when you introduce nitrogen, you're going to get a lot of this scale and carbon buildup. You're going to eliminate all of that. So you're going to get a nice smoother braze joint. Same thing on this side. You won't get nearly as much of this splotching and sort of blistering on there and again that just comes from not being not being cleaned properly but for demonstration purposes if you can do it like this um, at your house just practicing 
once you introduce nitrogen, um, it's just going to be that much better. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Like I said, uh, just like getting out here and sort of practicing things and uh, doing these little demonstrations for not only the videos, but for me when I need them in the field because you don't do this all the time, but there will be occasions where you may need this sort of ability to get you out of a pinch whether it's temporary or whether it's a permanent fix. So just keep that in mind, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. More to come. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.